Are you listening? The wonderful world of Disney. Let's be honest, as far as Disney goes, they are killing it right now. Movies? In 2019, Disney was responsible for the top five highest grossing movies of the year. Theme parks, Star Wars Galaxy Edge just opened, and while I haven't been, all these social media influencers that I follow make it look fantastic. And streaming services, you got Disney Plus, which is awesome. Did you know that you can watch Frozen in 41 languages? Like, English is great, but watching Frozen in Spanish is a whole nother level. But as far as video games go, well, Disney definitely has some work left to do. In the last two years for mainstream consoles, Disney has licensed Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order a recreation of classic games like Aladdin and The Lion King, uh, you had Marvel's Spider-Man, Kingdom Hearts 3, Disney's Tsum Tsum Festival for the Nintendo Switch, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, and Lego Incredibles. Now, I don't want to take anything away from the success of games like Fallen Order or Spider-Man, but when you compare the successes that Disney has seen in other verticals, like movies or streaming, Gaming is definitely underperforming, but that might be changing. Because this week, Sean Shopta, the senior VP of Games and Interactive Experiences at Disney, told a room full of developers at this year's DICE Summit, I'm here for one specific reason. To empower you to do really unique things with our catalog. We want to tap into the power of creatives across the industry. Now, Shopta continued by mentioning the successes of games like Jedi Fallen Order and Spider-Man and used them as examples of when developers were able to reimagine Disney properties and reassured developers that Disney now has a come-and-play strategy. Shopta specifically said, We want to dream big and look forward to all the things we can do together. Think about how big that is for gaming. One of the largest entertainment companies in the world has just opened the floodgates on their properties. And just so we're clear, Disney owns the rights to Pixar properties like Frozen, Big Hero 6, Toy Stories, Monsters Incorporated, along with Fox properties like Alien, The Simpsons, Indiana Jones. Now we have to definitely include Marvel properties like the Fantastic Four, Guardians of the Galaxy, X-Men, along with the entire Star Wars universe. And that's not even scratching the surface of Disney original IP like Mickey, Donald, or Goofy. We are on the precipice of a renaissance in Disney video games. Thanks again for checking out our channel. You know, we're always trying to get sponsorships on this channel, and I can tell you, us making fun of the Sony fan probably is not going to help. But this is the Nerf Report! Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and screw sponsorships! I'll go broke doing this show! Fix the fan!